Eat like Matt, really a savage. Randy, she wanna eat all my package candy. Diamonds move like Michael Jackson. Dancing soon as the light hit. What is good, Mac family? It's the one and only Eli Mac. I'm so, so, so hype and excited, man. Y'all see, bro, the NBA 2K20 demo has officially dropped, man. If you new to this channel, bro, if you are new, hit that sub button, man. Join the Mac family, FOE, man, Milk Gang. You know how we rocking, bro. And if you're a returning member of the family, bro, smash the like button right now, bro. I'm tired of y'all not giving me my likes, bro. So, yeah, man, as y'all know, on my channel, bro, I do a lot of GTA, Madden, a whole bunch of IRL stuff. I'm a, also a rapper, a whole bunch of stuff. But I'm about to start implementing NBA 2K, bro. I've been playing 2K since 2K15, so I'm absolutely in love with this game and I just want to say right now bro just off the start just off the aesthetics of the game how everything is new this might be the best 2k in a very long time this might be the best 2k since 2k15 no cap I feel like 2k15 in my opinion was honestly the best one a lot of people say 17 I feel like it was 15 18 was trash and 19 was trash but this might be the best one bro no cap so look man a lot of you guys are wondering like what build you should make now let me tell you guys bro I literally feel like I found one of the best builds in NBA 2k already bro no cap so now there's this new feature where you can actually make a player and you can set him to a 99 with all the badges and you can test them out in the game to see how he plays so all these years bro since 2k15 i've always been a shooting type of guy bro i've always been a shooter a guy who's known to shoot the ball you know what i'm saying i never was really like too much of a dribbler or anything like that so y'all know i gotta name my player the mac daddy man for all my guys bro i know you guys are wondering yo when's the series for this game's gonna start um, the series and all that, the my career and everything, that doesn't come out until, like, when the game actually comes out on September 6th. Right now, all you can do is just build a player. Um, all the guys who are doing my career, they got the game early because they, you know, was invited to 2K and stuff like that. So, congratulations to them. But, um, yeah, the best position I say this year, bro, to go with is really your preference, bro. I've never really been a center. I was a center one time. But if you want to be a shooter... I'd say go with a shooting guard or a point guard. Now, I feel like point guards are just faster overall, so I think I'm going to go with a point guard. It's really up to you, bro. But I'm going to test it. I'm going to go between a point guard and a shooting guard because I'm still trying to test that part out. But, yeah, man, so this is where it gets real at right here. So, a lot of you guys see, you could be a finishing, a shooting, a playmaking, or defensive and rebounding. So, you see if you're a finishing, you're going to, yo, your maximum is at 95, 95, 95, close shot, layup, and dunk. That's crazy, bro. But your three-point is not that high, and your ball handle and pass accuracy isn't that high. But if you go right here, bro, check this out, my G. If you look right here, bro, you could potentially have your ball handling be a 92 and an accuracy of an 89. That's crazy, bro. That is so crazy because you're going to be so quick and so fast that people aren't really going to be able to guard you too well, you know what I'm saying, in the park and things like that. So let me show you guys why this is the best build. Also, your close shot is a 90, your layup is a 94, your dunk is an 89. Like, you can be quick. You can take it in. I know it says your three-point shot is a little low, but don't worry about that because I know a way around it, bro. Watch this. Your mid-range shot is also a 74, which isn't that bad. And your defense is also decent, man. So let's go, man. Playmaking is definitely the way to go. Let me show you why. So right here, this is kind of your preference. I would go for this one because your speed is a 95 and acceleration a 94 all of your vertical is only a 83 but you can go here and have a 92 90 and 95 with a way higher vertical but i'm not really a vertical guy if you care about dunking on people and doing all that i would go with for the higher vertical but i think i'm gonna just go right here and get the more speed you know what i'm saying so this year you can actually set your potential man so basically setting your potential is going through and just applying the attributes to everything so basically when you upgrade this is what you will be you know what i'm saying this is the highest that you can get so the first thing i was telling you about bro listen man you want to make sure you have your ball handling all the way up you want to have your pass accuracy all the way up your mid-range for sure your three-point for sure close shot driving layup driving dunk standing dunk is not that important to me like especially if you're a point guard you're not gonna be under there just standing dunking on people so don't do that if you don't want to post hook is not important in my opinion you want to have your defense up bro pretty much everything on your defense especially the steals you want to have that up um now with your last 89 I would put this towards your free throws. If you're a my career player or you're going to be playing in a rec and stuff like that, I would put your free throws up so you can just have it up. You know what I'm saying? It's important. You, you don't want to be missing those big free throws when they're really important, you know? And the next thing I would put up is probably your blocking, you know what I'm saying? And then now I got 30 more points. Now, you can pretty much put that to anything that you want. I would say put them on your rebounds, you know what I'm saying? 15 on one and 15 on the other. Now you see, bro, you're going to have six shooting badges and 19 finishing badges and 22 playmaking badges. Now, let me show you why this is so crazy, bro. Watch this, bro. For your body shape, this doesn't really um, affect anything too much. You know what I'm saying? Uh, me, I'd probably be compact. I'm a skinny guy in real life. Not even gonna cat, you Philly. Oh. But yeah, the height, bro. This is where it also gets really important right here. So the lower you go, you get more ball handling and stuff like that. But they always say it's not good to be super short because if you're super short, you can get your shot contested a lot. But there's a badge for that. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So, in my opinion, bro, I think this year I'm going to go, like, 6'1 or 6'2. Because, like, bro, at 6'2, you get a 95 acceleration plus 2 on your ball handling. So, you know what I'm saying? You're way quicker and stuff like that. 
and you're fast, so you can really speed boost and go crazy. So I'd say go 6'2 for sure. As far as weight, the weight doesn't affect anything but your defense, strength, and speed. Um, but I feel like that's also very important. So I'm gonna go with the lightest weight because my lateral quickness is gonna be higher. I have a better speed. Strength, I don't really care too much about strength. You know what I'm saying? That's not really important to me. All right, man, now wingspan, man. This is important. If you put it all the way up, it only helps your defense. But if you put it all the way down, it helps your three points. So I would say just go with the lowest, you know what I'm saying? That's what everybody been doing every year, just going with the lowest one. It makes your three-point shots better. It's less steals and stuff like that, but it's worth it to score on offense, for real. I'm going to be going with shot creator because this is just going to help me out with, you know what I'm saying, off the dribble shots and stuff like that. So I'm going to go with shot creator. You guys can pick pretty much whatever you want, though. So they say my players compared to the likes of Derrick Rose, John Wall, and Damian Lillard, all good players. So look, this is what I was talking about, man. You could put your freaking rating all the way to a 99 and test everything out in an actual game. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So as far as the badges, listen, so remember we was talking about the shot. Y'all like, bro, my shot is not that high, bro. Why would I do this build? It's so dumb. Listen, bro, you have six available upgrades. So you can literally use these upgrades to get, you know what I'm saying, some shooting badges to make your shooting better. So what badge I would tell you to max out is steady shooter. It reduces the penalty for contested shots and bonuses for open shots. So if you're open, you have a way higher, you know what I'm saying, chance as making a shot. And if you're contested, it's not that bad. You feel me? And then the next one I would say is get hot start because it improves the player's shooting ability after making first shot. So after you make that first shot your shooting ability is going to be pretty much you're going to have a higher rating at shooting you know what i'm saying so it's going to make you only better and i know you guys are like bro listen bro but let me tell you something bro look at all the other badges that you get with this build man if you look at the finishing you get 19 upgrades bro. you can upgrade so many stuff add so many different badges you can pretty much go through and play with these on um, the playmaking badges basically you're going to be super quick you're going to be freaking breaking people's ankles you're gonna be taking it in, going crazy. And if you have to shoot that open three-point shot, you can shoot it. And if it can test it, you're most likely gonna make it because of this badge that you're gonna have. You feel me? But yeah, man, that's it for this video, man. And as far as that build, like I said, it's a real good all-around build for you new guys out there or you guys that kind of don't really know what to do. Because this year, it doesn't really seem like you can be super dominant in shooting unless, like, you make yourself super short. Like, you really have to go crazy to make yourself like a 99 overall shooter. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's almost impossible. So I feel like that's the best position if you want to be able to take it inside, dribble, be fast, speed boost, and have a decent shot because those shooting badges will, you know what I'm saying, make your shot a little bit good. So, But yeah, man, make sure you test that build, bro. Don't go on YouTube and take word from any YouTubers, man. Like, test the build for yourself. See if you like it. Don't go and copy another builds. I feel like this year in 2K, you really got to be yourself. Um, That might not even be my build. That's just a build that I'm recommending to you guys. Um, I'm really a shooter. Like, that's the type of person I've been, you know what I'm saying, since I've been playing 2K, for real, for real. So I think that I'm going to make myself more of a shooting build, but I'm going to test that build out and see how I like it. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if you guys are rocking with that build, man. Thanks for tuning in, bro. Make sure you hit that like and that sub button, man. Turn on post notification bell to get too many bangers drop on the daily, man. It's your boy, Eli Mac. Gang, gang. Hold up, hold up, hold up, man. What are you doing, man? If you're not wearing no Eli Mac merch, then you looking crazy out here, man. You got to go copy your hoodie. got to copy your T-shirt. Got to copy your phone case, a hat, something, man. Go crazy, man. It's Eli Mac gang. 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 We got the best drip on YouTube. No cap. Let's get Pop out new designer. Bay pair band to cover my lineup. Ayy, shorty, she bad like Rihanna. But she bougie, she won't eat any Hana. Ayy, I hit a lick in a Honda. Then in the future, I'll with some commas. Ayy, I used to believe in Santa. Till I turn into the Grinch with a hammer.